Gurgles and Growls, Learning About Your Stomach, by Pamela Hill Nettleton, illustrated by Becky Scheib. Do you know where you get your energy? From your food. But your body can't turn food into energy without your stomach. Yum! Pizza tastes great. But what happens after you chew it? When you swallow, your throat muscles push food down into your stomach. Now your stomach has a job to do. The saliva or spit in your mouth helps make food soft so it is easy to swallow. Your stomach has muscles too. They can stretch to hold one, two, or three pizza slices. This might not feel good, but your stomach can do it. Then your stomach shrinks back down again. Cool trick. You can help your stomach do its job. Chew your food well and for a long time. Your stomach squeezes and mashes up your food. Your stomach also makes juices. Your stomach takes about three hours to break down a meal. These juices mix with your food to make it soft and mushy. Your stomach turns food into a liquid mixture. This process gets the food ready to be turned into energy. The process of turning food into energy is called digestion. Greasy food, such as fast food hamburgers, can take your stomach a long time to digest. After your stomach digests food for a while, it doesn't look like your lunch anymore. Now the liquid food is ready to be pushed out of the bottom of your stomach. From there, it goes into your small intestine. That's where your body gets energy from your food. Your small intestine is 22 feet, 6.7 meters long. That's about as tall as a two-story house. When you go to the bathroom, your body is getting rid of the parts of food it can't use. Passing gas also is a normal part of digestion. When your stomach growls, it thinks it's meal time. Your stomach is getting ready to work hard. Sometimes your stomach hurts. This might mean you ate too much or that you are sick. Sometimes people throw up or vomit. Your body throws up to protect you. It knows that germs have gotten into the food or into the stomach itself. Then it sends food back up and out your mouth. Throwing up does not feel good. Feeling worried or scared can make your stomach hurt too. There are special doctors who take care of stomach problems. These doctors study the parts of the body that help digest food. The doctors also ask questions and perform tests in order to help them understand what might be wrong. Doctors who take care of stomach problems are called gastroenterologists. It is easy to help your stomach feel good most of the time. Drink a lot of water each day. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Don't eat treats or fast food very often. Twirling in circles or riding on carnival rides can upset your stomach. Be smart about feeding your stomach.
the stomach, the food you follow, swallow, travels down a tube called your esophagus. This tube moves the food to your stomach, which turns your food into a liquid mixture. Your stomach muscles then push the mixture into the small intestine. The small intestine breaks down the food even more so your body can use it for energy. So down the esophagus to your stomach to your small intestine. Pretend you are your stomach. Ready to eat lunch? Let's get a plastic food storage bag with a top that seals. Fill it with some lunch foods. Maybe the lunch includes a sandwich, a strawberry, a slice of green pepper, a cookie, and milk. Seal the bag tightly. Now, Pretend your hands are the stomach muscles. Mash it all up by squeezing the bag. Keep squeezing it until all the food is mixed together. Yuck! Tools of the trade. Doctors can see inside your stomach by taking a special picture called an x-ray. Doctors don't use a camera to take this kind of picture. They use an x-ray machine. It takes pictures through your skin. Glossary. Chew. To grind up food with your teeth. Digestion. When your body turns food into energy. Gastroenterologist. A doctor who studies and treats problems with digestion. Mouth, where chewing starts your digestion. Small intestine, where your liquid food goes after it leaves the stomach. Stomach, a bag of muscles that turns your food into liquid. Vomit, when your stomach Send liquid food back up and out of your mouth. To learn more, go to your library. I have a weird brother who digested a fly by Joan Holub. What happens to a hamburger by Paul Showers and Your Stomach by Anne Vasker.